Hey, my name is Nisha and welcome to my channel. I went to a garage sale and got some great jewelry. I'm going to show you that today. All right, let's get started. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is a nice vintage brooch. It's a Weiss, W-E-I-S-S. -S. I'm not sure of the time period, so let's see if I can show you the hallmark. Okay, it might be easy to read now. Um, definitely vintage, little pen sticking out, but I'm not sure the date on there. It's really pretty with the enameling on here. All right, cool. And then, oh yeah, I love this piece. This is Coro, C-O-R-O. -O. Definitely vintage 1960s. You can tell by the color of the uh, rhinestones and then also by the construction back here. So the construction is called rivet back and these are little rivets that are holding everything together and it's also an open back here and it's layered so you have and that's what gives it this appearance when you look at it you have the bottom layer and a middle layer and an upper layer uh, let's look at the hallmark so it's right there coro there's also the pegasus coro and there'll be a um, horse in front of coro and those are really desirable so if you can find those those are a great item to find now, for this, I would list this piece on eBay, Macari, Poshmark, and Etsy. Definitely Etsy because I can date this really well uh, because of those different factors we just talked about. And I do this using a service called List Perfectly that allows me to cross-list to all these different platforms very easily. Um, now, if you want to try it for yourself, I have in the description below a link that will give you 30% off your first month. All right, so let's keep looking. Ah, okay, fun, fun, fun. I like the stretch bracelet. It looks like it's never been worn. Kind of studded look. All right, great. All right, so I have this really pretty piece. Now, to determine what things are made of, I use my sense of touch to figure out the temperature of the item. So, if it's cool to the touch, then that could mean it's made from glass. If it's cold to the touch, that could be stone. You can also look at the opening here and that can give you a clue as to what it's made from this looks like some type of ceramic but these beads are really pretty i like how they are iridescent i have a nice design okay this is a fun bracelet i like the zigzag pattern on here Ah, looks very 80s with those colors, this rich blue and red. I like the dangle section of the brooch. I don't think it's vintage, but it's very pretty. Okay, this is very nice. See all that shimmering? That's from Marcusite Stone. There are these teeny little stones, very popular in the 80s. You see them right here. They're a dark gray color. And in this one, they have some other stones right here as well. The back of this is Mark Sterling right here. And I don't recognize the, the maker's mark, which is a... What was it? It's an LS. Okay. 
another 1960s piece. We have the wreath design or circle design. That blue color was so pretty. And then again, we have that rivet back design again with those little rivets and it, the pin is sticking out a little bit. You can see that. Okay, definitely vintage. Very pretty piece. Oh yes, this is this is really nice. So this is close in A. It's a technique of creating a design with these gold tone lines. They can be different colors too. And then you fill in with enamel between the gold tone lines with different colors. And there's different types of cloisonne. So if you watch videos on it, it will help you uh, understand the process. Now, most bracelets that you see will be one-sided, but when you can find them double-sided like this, they have more value. This one's really nice. Ah, earring. I think I see the other earring. Okay. I like the design. A little bit of wear. They're clip-on earrings. De Wes, De Wies. I don't recognize this. And it's sterling. Okay. So this is a modern piece. It's a slide necklace. You might even call it a bolo tie. So this is the uh, bolo section. And this slides up and down the uh, a chain here. Pretty design. Garnet chip bracelet. So all of this darker pieces here are made from garnet stones and then th this in here is rose quartz if you look right here you can see how there's a little bit of chipping around here you know this might actually be glass actually i think that's glass okay all right glass oh this is fun i, I really like this piece Like the pendant. I love the design on giraffe. Isn't that great? And this is vintage from 1990s, 1980s. It was made in Taiwan, Republic of China. All right, fun. All right. So this is made from bone china. Layered. This one does have a chip on it right here. Made in England. See it right there. Still a nice piece. Yeah, I just, I, this is a great design. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Wow. And I believe this is Mark Sterling. Take a look. I didn't explain the magnet. So the magnet tells me if the item is made from stainless steel. It's just kind of a filter. So you'll notice that this piece isn't magnetic. So that means it could have silver or maybe gold in it. All right, so let's take a closer look. So it has this really great beaded design and inlaid stones here in the pendant and then back here it's marked sterling with uh, somebody's uh, initials so let's see if we can take a closer look there we go okay fun ah yeah i thought these were great earrings they just have a really nice look to them. Uh, they're made from Austrian crystal and they have this great shimmer. Ah, okay. So again, another 
vintage piece, the wreath or ring design, and then it looks like it's jade stone. So we'll do the skin test. Okay, definitely cold to the touch, not cool. And I'm just looking for inclusions. And stone will have a different texture to it than glass will. So it's important to have a, a loop. That's what this is. You can find a link for that uh, in the description below. Okay, so here's the backing of it. Ah, okay, so I do like to find items that are in the original box, but just be aware that people like to keep well-made boxes and they'll put items in here that weren't original to the box. So I think that's what this one is. <laughs> because it says $460 on the back. Okay, let's so let's take a look. I'm looking at these posts and earrings that are worth that much money aren't going to have posts like this. So let me show you. See that post? It's a snap-on post or snap on back rather the post is this section right through here if these were really valuable earrings it would be a thread on where you would turn it okay so that was not what was original to the box ah okay now this ring is damaged you see the damage right here and then it's marked, where is it? Oh, 10 carat. I don't know if I can get it to show up. So it's marked 10 carat. So it's not magnetic. So I'll test it and I can always just uh, sell it as a damaged piece. Oh, these are so cute. So they're made from opals. You can kind of see the iridescence. They're prong set. Now they're not made from sterling silver. Uh, we can always check the back. Nothing marked there, but they're very pretty. And then the last piece is this one. Yay! Okay, now this is great. You have the whole set in the original box. Ooh, just, just that is stunning. That would be great for weddings or for a party, reunions, if you have any reunions coming up. And then you have this matching bracelet. Look at that. And the uh, dangle earrings. So this is marked a brand I'm not familiar with. Ten Yu is the brand. And then looking at the construction, I love the beads and how they have this really great shimmer to it. And that is the end of my garage sale haul of jewelry. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to try List Perfectly for yourself, there is a link in the description below that will give you 30% off your first month. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Take care. Bye-bye.